Hello, my name is Tina Gill, and I'm a practice area consultant here at LexisNexis Canada, and I'm also a lawyer by profession. To help you conduct your research for wills, estates, and trust practice area in British Columbia, I put together this short video that outlines how you can leverage technology to perfect your strategy and accomplish the tasks involved quickly and efficiently. I'm going to show you how to do research in both Lexis Advanced Quick Law and Practical Guidance to help you find what you're looking for in wills, estates, and trusts in BC. Now, when you're logged into Lexis Advanced Quick Law, you can actually select by practice area. I'm going to select wills, estates, and trust law. Now, once this page logs on, you'll see this, all the different secondary materials that are offered, the commentary loose leaf, the legal encyclopedias, the different textbooks here, and current awareness. Now, you'll see drafting materials, quantums, cases, and legislation. Now, if I go up here, you'll see Canada, Canadian Estate Administration Guide here. And when you select this, this is you have everything, all the subheadings related to that. Say if I'm looking for forms and precedents, I can click on that, click on the actual document, select that. And I can select a, a specific topic I'm looking for, power of attorney for personal and fair. And I click on that, and it'll lead me to the commentary that's related to this item here. As you can see, it's a pretty long document. Let me just scroll over to the top here. And it'll show you uh, the different, um, you know, commentary, as I mentioned, that is related to this document. Now, what you can do is you can actually save this on directly onto your computer as a PDF document, Word document, and so forth. You can even email it to yourself by selecting the subheading here and so forth. I'm going to go back to the main menu here on the secondary materials, and I'm going to go to drafting materials here. I'm going to click on Canadian Estate Administration Guide which is what I just showed you and previously with it has if you select statutes now and say you want to be specific to British Columbia you can actually select British Columbia and the, these are all going to be related to the province of British Columbia now say if you were looking for conflict of rules select that and then select, select the actual section you're looking for and it will direct you to the commentary related to that section and once again you can save that email it to yourself and so forth now, another item that you may want to use towards your research for wills, estates, and trusts is the quantums. Now, if I click on this selection here, you can actually dim down the um, jurisdiction to British Columbia. Now, if you see this, there's actually a lot of items for British Columbia. I can open up the tab here and I can click on either both or one or the other. I'm just going to select all of it. And you will see on the right side here, everything that's related to British Columbia, okay, the different type of relief, but you can even make it more specific by selecting the correct timeline, um, the different annual awards, so that will be all the information for Canada Dependence Relief Contents when you're looking for that. Now, if I want to go to Practical Guidance, I'm going to go to the top and click on Practical Guidance, and I'm going to make sure that all the practice areas are listed here, but I'm going to select the one that has to do with wills, trusts, and estates for British Columbia, which is a separate heading than the Ontario one. You select that, and you'll see all the topics and tasks that are involved with this heading. Now, say, for example, you wanted help with will drafting. I'm going to select that, and then you'll see on the left-hand side, different headings. So there's practice notes that are available, there's precedents that are available, there's clauses, there's checklists, tables, flow charts, and diagrams and articles. And now, if you don't know, like LexisNexis Practical Guidance often provides you expert guideline checklists, and this will help you start something from scratch that you don't know what you're doing, you can easily go to here, okay? Now you'll see on the right side, there's, if I select practice notes, you'll see the jurisdiction that each one is related to. Once again, it's British Columbia. Now say I wanna look for will drafting considerations for spouses. I can select that here. And it'll take me straight to the commentary page uh, on instructions of what has to do with that specific heading. And you'll see you can select different topics here and it'll list cases it refers to or any materials it's referring to a list on here. And you can once again, download it, either Word document or PDF or email it to yourself and so forth. And you can see that there's also checklists here. Say you wanted a checklist and there's will execution checklist that's related to British Columbia. Same thing. You'll see the commentary that shows up and you can save this directly. Now you'll see on the right hand si side about related content. What this is is that it'll tell you like say it's referring to Halsbury's. There's six sections here that refer to different sections of Halsbury. So if I click here, 
it'll take me straight to the section that I referred to on a separate page. And that'll be easy if you're trying to do quick research for yourself. And that is all for practical guidance. You can find there's a lot of stuff there when you're playing around with it. And if you'd like to check out any of these tools or any have any other questions around it, please don't hesitate to reach out to Alexis Nexus representatives today. Thank you and have a great day.